Good morning, skiers and riders. Sugarloaf and Carabasset Valley. Time to take a check of your latest local forecast brought to you by Geppettos. You can find them in Village West. They've got some apres music happening this afternoon with Dyer and Jason Mancini. So check that out right in Village West. Mostly cloudy skies for the day today. We'll see mild temperatures, though. So very comfortable out there skiing and riding. A high temperature of 37 degrees down around the base. A high of around 33 up towards the summit with a light west wind, uh, which should just barely be noticeable up towards the summit. So get out there. The snow surfaces are in great condition. Uh, it should be a great day of skiing and riding or any act outdoor activities here in the main High Peaks region. Mostly cloudy skies. A chance of a few flurries for the day on Sunday. Uh, still holding on to mild temperatures down here around the base. We should see high in the lower 30s once again and a light northwest to southeast breeze as well shouldn't cause any issues looking at your extended forecast looks like we'll see uh, some weather move in uh, in the middle of next week some snow some possible mixed precip so we'll keep you updated on that and we'll watch that system to see what happens 114 trails of ski and ride on for this Saturday, January 21st, 12 lifts getting into those runs. 82 trails are on the groomers list last night, and we're looking at some nice pack powder and loose granular conditions out there. Get out there and rip it up, folks. It is in great shape. Here's what was on the groomers list last night. Trails like uh, Cinderhoe, Tote Road, King's Landing, and Hayburner, as well as Narrow Gauge, Wedge, White Nitro from the top. So go check that out if you're an expert skier from the summit. And over on the east side, uh, Lower Hallback, Upper Choker, Flume, Boom Auger, Widowmaker, and Ram Down, uh, as well as Pole Line and Whiffle Tree. All the trails around the base area got groomed out. And trails over on the west side as well. Here's a map of the lower lifts at 8 o'clock. Snubber will get you up to the base lodge. 8.30, Sawduster and Skidway will move you around the base area. And at 9 a.m., the Muscalator, which is the conveyor lift, will get you up and down the Birch's Slope if you're just learning to ski or ride. The Double Runner Chairs will get you a little higher on the hill at 8.30 for some runs down Boardwalk and Lower Winter's Way. West Mountain gets going at 8 o'clock this morning, and Super Quad and Skyline get going at 8.30. Super Quad gets you to a variety of mid-mountain terrain as well as Bullwinkles, and Skyline gets you up to Spillway Crosscut, and Spillway Crosscut allows you to branch out all across the whole mountain. Wiffle Tree and King Pine, those are the lifts that service the east side of the mountain. Wiffle Tree is a nice intermediate area, nice fast super quad. If you've got kids, check out Moose Alley. And King Pine gets you to some great expert terrain high on the east side. Timberline will be going this morning at 9 a.m. And you'll see some great views from the top of the mountain. Some expert skiing off the front face over uh, Gandhi Line as well as White Nitro. And if you're a beginner, check out the Timberline Trail on the west side. 70K is open for cross-country skiing down at the Sugarloaf Outdoor Center. Be sure to call if you're planning on doing any fat biking. 6830 is their number because there are some rules and proper etiquette, and it is conditions permitting out there. So with the warmer temperatures, you have to call and see what is up with that. As far as a uh, great event happening tonight, Rock and Roll in the Yurt featuring the Elmore Twist Band. Get on your dancing shoes. The Adaptive Outdoor Education Center is offering live music with dancing down at the Yurt located right off of the Sugar of Outdoor Center Access Road and check us out. We're online WSKITV.com. You can find this latest local forecast updated twice daily. Lots of videos uh, regarding things to do to keep you busy here in the main High Peaks region. We've also got our live quad cam shot on there which offers some time-lapse photography as well as live video right from the bottom of the Super Quad so you can see what's happening anytime, day or night, 24-7. Also check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, as well as Instagram.